Today I fucked up, by ruining a happy family. Like all good today I fucked ups, this didn't happen yesterday. My wife and I went to one of our favorite restaurants in town a couple weeks ago. It's just a bar and grill on the lake shore where you can sit outside right next to the water. Whenever the weather is nice, we love sitting out there and enjoying a couple beers with dinner. One of our favorite parts about sitting out there is the wildlife. From our spot, you can look into the water and see fish swimming around and ducks love hanging out there. I assume people toss fries or whatever for the ducks, so they made this area an official hangout. On this particular evening, my wife and I were the only ones eating outside and we saw a pair of ducks, a drake and a hen, swimming offshore. I thought it would be fun to pull up YouTube and make duck noises. I found a video that had a couple different duck calls, so I started playing it. Lo and behold, the ducks responded. At first they started by making the call back to me, but gradually, they moved closer and closer. They ended up on shore and only a few feet away. It was a pretty fun experience. That is, until it got out of hand. Apparently my phone was loud enough for other ducks to hear, because another drake swooped in. This other drake had no interest in me, however. He immediately went for the hen. This led to a fight between the two drakes. They started yelling, quacking, at each other and eventually flew off and chased each other around the lake with the hen following them. Unfortunately, the original drake did not win the mating fight, and the new drake flew off with the hen. My wife and I stared at each other in disbelief as this whole thing played out. She still jokingly calls me a home wrecker, and I suppose that's fair. I'm not really super torn up about it. In fact, I find the whole situation kind of amusing. I thought this more lighthearted today I fucked up belonged here. Too long didn't read, went to dinner and played duck calls. Called in another drake and ruined a family. Edit, dang, my first gold. I feel weird taking this blood money, but thanks anyway. Imagine the poor duck on a date with his girlfriend. Next thing he knows, he's unconscious in the lake with his girlfriend leaving him for another guy. Life's not all it's quacked up to be. Happy family torn apart by foul play. This the most clickbait title in this son's history, smiley face. I have a record, Voices of the Loon, that has different loon calls. There is a little blurb on there saying do not play near loons during mating slash breeding season, you will most likely end up with an angry paired male loon or a horny single loon at your house. Either option is not a fun time. Birds, do not fuck about when it comes to banging. I used to live in an area where I could hear a bunch of loons calling to each other from the different lakes and ponds. It was great to play that record, later in the summer, and hear them trying to figure out who the new guy in the neighborhood was. Horny single loons in your area. You mother ducker. Today I fucked up, by knocking out the guy I'm seeing. This actually happened yesterday but I couldn't get a chance to post it. I'm a pretty basic white girl. I'm 21, I like Starbucks, I wear leather leggings and hoodies, I'm blonde, I have a part-time job as a secretary so it was not surprising that the guy I'm sorta dating didn't believe me when I told him I've been kickboxing for the better part of a decade. Instead of going to the gym and jogging, kickboxing has been a way for me to be active and stay fit. It kinda pissed me off he thought I'm making it up to look cool in front of him, because he's been trying to get into kickboxing so I figured, why not have like a fun date at the gym he's been going and kick the heavy bags and have fun. He kinda laughed at the idea but I made him accept. We got to the gym, I met his gym friends, his coach and so far it was going good. The dumbass jokingly said we should spar and that he'd go easy on me told me with sparring gear it wouldn't hurt and it'd be fun. There was no way I'm saying no to that. My plan was show him that experience matters and make him believe me that I've really been doing this for a long time but no, the asshole didn't put on any protective gear. I got mad. We begin. He's laughing, his friends are laughing and cheering for me like I'm some kid and I'm just getting more and more pissed off by the minute. The cheering was the boiling point. As soon as my date got close enough, out of nowhere I decided to head kick him with everything I had. I literally grunted as I kicked him. In the 10 or so years I've been kickboxing I don't think I've ever kicked anyone that hard. 
he was out cold before he even hit the ground. Needless to say, when he came to his senses he had no choice but to accept that I've actually been kickboxing for quite some time I also invited him over at my place tonight and planned to make him dinner to apologize for the KO. Surprisingly, he doesn't hate me and laughed it off and accepted the dinner invite which is a win in my book. Too long didn't read, my date didn't believe me I've been kickboxing for quite a long time and asked me to spar. I head kicked him and knocked him out cold. Edit, this kinda blew up and I can't reply to everyone. I know what I did is fucked up and bad and I realize how bad it'd look if the genders were reversed. I didn't post this to gloat and brag nor do I think he had it coming I thought this sub is about fuck ups this was a fuck up on my part. I didn't realize this would offend so many people. Edit 2, guys, I can't stress this enough I posted this because I fucked up. He's fine and his coach took him to the hospital. I'm really sorry if this came out as me bragging, it's on me for writing it up like this. I hope someone reads the edits because I can't reply to every individual comment. The incivility in this thread is getting out of hand. Op knows she fucked up and she has said her date has been to the hospital and is fine. Since you all want to keep insulting each other and Op, I've had to lock this thread. Right leg hospital. Left leg cemetery. I feel you Op. I'm a heavy weight lifter and I was seeing this guy who didn't believe I could deadlift 300 pounds and when we to the gym, I proved him wrong and he said something along the lines of I don't think I can continue seeing you. It's a turn off and totally not feminine. What a moron. Knowing you could carry my past out us out of a fire would be awesome. OP, I fucked up tremendously and I feel terrible about it. ITT, wow you really fucked up. Today I fucked up, by breathing with one nostril my whole life. So let me give some context on how this happened, a while ago I tried out an e-cig my friend has and he made fun of how smoke only goes out of one of my nostrils, I didn't think much of it, I thought it's just a stuffed nose. So I try to clean my nose and it's already not stuffed but yet again I didn't put much thought into it. Yesterday I noticed that my right nostril is blocked again and my nose isn't stuffed, so I go look in the mirror to see that my right nostril is completely blocked by my septum. I took a doctor appointment the next morning and as soon as he looked in he said I have septum deviation caused by breaking my nose at some point in my life when I was a kid and that it needed surgery. I can't believe I've went for god knows how many years without realizing I wasn't breathing correctly and thinking that this was the norm. Surgery is within 24 hours so yeah, this escalated quickly. Too long didn't read. I'm stupid and didn't realize my right nostril was blocked off by my septum for years. I was scheduled to have septoplasty for the same thing you're describing. I broke my nose in college and had a 76 to 80 blockage of one nostril. Before surgery I was playing with my daughter and she accidentally kicked my nose upward. It shoved the septum almost completely back into shape and fixed the problem. There was no pain and no blood. Just a little numbness for a few days. The doctor said it was a one in a million thing but I'll send her over if you'd like. I had this surgery at 16. No broken nose or anything, I was born with a fucked up nose apparently. After it healed, the first time I breathed through my left nostril, in my life, ever, was a weird, cold feeling. I don't think I can describe it adequately. But now I no longer snore. Let me tell you though, the after surgery healing sucks. Ever sneezed and sprayed an entire hospital room with blood at midnight. Nurse was not happy. Ever blown your nose and had a chunk of solidified blood, snot and bits of bone, the size of your pinky, fly out of your nose. Hope you're up for new experiences. I had to do twice daily sinus rinse, basically neti pot, for three months. Years later, I would move my head to one side and feel and taste a small trickle of saline neti pot water. Have fun. Nah kidding, totes worth it in the end mate. Breathtaking. And so begins the day of redditors everywhere looking like they're on coke checking their nostrils. 